Let's talk about the stream in Google Classroom. This is an area where your students will see what's going on in the classroom and a place for you to place announcements or information that you want them to see. Now you have the option for just you, the teacher, to post in the stream or you can leave it open for students to post in the stream as well or you can um, leave it for just you, the teacher, to post and give the students the option to comment in the stream. You can adjust these settings by clicking on the settings cog, cog and going down to general. At, here in the stream you can say students can post and comment, students can only comment, or only teachers can post and comment. The default is set on students can post and comment. So there's some things to consider here. Um, if you are in a high school setting, it may be very beneficial for students to be able to post to ask questions and other students may answer those questions before you, the teacher, even has time to uh, mess with even answering the questions. Um, but in addition, they may also use it as just a conversation starter and get very off task or very rude because it is wide open. It could facilitate some conversations that are not school appropriate. So you have to be very careful. So um, just take that into account and um, just think about the fact that you know your students best and you know what will be the best um, choice for you and for your classroom. Um, a lot of teachers choose to start out with only teachers can post and comment and then release control as their students learn the Google Classroom and learn um, the rules of this digital environment that they're stepping into. So that is where you can find those controls and how to um, put it the way that you think is going to work best for your classroom. There we go. It says share something with your class. You just click on that button and it opens up this text box for you to share whatever you want to share. You could literally just say good morning class and leave it at that if you wanted to. You also have the option to add items. Now when you click on add you can pull up anything from your Google Drive. So let's share, say that you wanted to share something from your Google Drive. It's going to show you your recents first. You can upload something from Google Drive, grab from your drive, grab from shared drives, or stuff that you've starred. And of course you can use your handy dandy search bar as well. I'm just going to grab this first thing there. And now the kids can click on my cat in the hat that I have there. And I can click post. Now even though I'm working in this sample classroom, if I wanted it to go to one of my other classrooms, I could. I could also differentiate, and instead of sending it to all my students at once, now I don't have students here yet, but I could click and choose who do I want this um, specific stream posting to go to. Perhaps I want it to go to my red group or my blue group, and I could pick and choose who got what announcement. So let's click post. And there it is. Alright, let's look at some of the other options. <clears throat> I can also add a link. So let's say that I want my students to go to Wonderopolis and read Wonder of the Day 677. Where are the Galapagos Islands? So I navigate to the Galapagos Islands and I do a triple tap, 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 to grab my link. I'm going to use Control C or Command C to grab that link and Control or Command V to paste the link and click Add Link. And it puts a handy dandy link right here with a very visual button of it and it tells me exactly what it is. And so I can give them some um, information about it and tell them what I want them to do. Click on the link and read the article. 
comment below with your favorite fact. Okay, now this is assuming that I have left commenting open to them, but that's a good um, get them going in the morning activity rather than just sitting around and talking or getting into trouble. <laughs> so let's say I'm not going to post this right away. Perhaps I did this during my planning period the day before and I want it ready for the next day. So I can click on the drop down box and I can schedule it. I want this to work. Uh, I want this to be for Thursday. Oh, excuse me. I want this to be for Friday at 8 a.m. And so I scheduled it. Now I don't have to worry about it. Friday at 8 a.m. it will pop up in their classroom. All right, let's look at the other two. Let's do another good morning. And we can add a file from our computer. We can drag the files up there or we can upload. I'm going to upload this good morning picture for them. And let's also give them a YouTube video to watch. So we can navigate to YouTube. We can search for it right here or if we've already searched for it in YouTube. Let's say I've already found it. I'm going to pause it so it doesn't go ahead and start playing. I can click share, copy the link, head right back to my classroom, and paste the link and click add. And now they don't have to go out to YouTube. They get to watch it right here and not have to worry about all of the suggestions on the side that might lead them down a rabbit hole. <laughs> and so I can click post and there it is. So that is a look at the stream in your Google Classroom. It can be a very effective tool. One other thing that we can do is we can reuse a post. So let's say, for instance, you have three sections of the same class. You have Government 1, Government 2, and Government 3 that you teach the same thing. So you can click Reuse Post, and I can reuse the post from Sample. And let's say I want to reuse the Good Morning with the YouTube video. Reuse and I'm going to add it to this class and click post and now it's sent it to my other class without having to retype and re-add my attachments. Anything that saves me time is a good thing. <laughs>